Level crossings have been a part of the Melbourne train network for its entire history. On the very first day of the very first train line in Victoria, from Melbourne Terminus to Port Melbourne, several level crossings were passed along the train's journey. Since then, Melbourne has had level crossings around on every line. However, there has been pushes to remove them for many years. Today, let's take a look at the history of Melbourne's level crossings as well as the Level Crossing Removal Authority and what the future is for both. Level crossings are found on every suburban train line in Melbourne. In many cases, removal was postponed for years and years and never completed. However, there have been some plans in the past. Level crossings were often created because... I mean hillside. There are no hills in Melbourne. Melbourne is flat. While this statement is not fully true, it does sum up fairly accurately a lot of Melbourne's train network and Melbourne itself. Level crossings were used as the primary method of having roads cross railways from the very beginning. In many cases, when railways were built, there was no or little car traffic, so there was not much of a reason to build expensive infrastructure to avoid this. The first major removals were usually at construction of tram lines or also in busy areas. Examples of the first major level crossing removal programs were when the crossings between South Yarra and Caulfield were eliminated by 1915 and the crossings between Burnley and Camberwell by 1919. Several tram squares were removed in the 1920s, such as the Ascot Vale Road and Queen's Parade tram squares. But much of Melbourne was still covered by level crossings. The 1929 Melbourne Plan of General Development saw the need to remove level crossings and decided that 66 level crossings of high importance were to be removed. These would be along tram lines and major roads in particular. Even still, that would have left only just less than 200 level crossings around Melbourne. It was a grand plan, but nothing happened of it. However, in the 1950s, a program began to remove some level crossings around Melbourne. Examples of crossings removed under this program are the Burnley Street Burnley, Melbourne Road Newport, and Glen Huntley Road Elstonwick crossings. 20 level crossings were removed, and this was a small dent in the network's total of level crossings, but many crossings were important enough that the program made a significant difference. In the 1920s, the Victorian Railways had also adopted a policy that would not build any more level crossings. As such, the Glen Waverley extension in 1929 and 30 did not involve any level crossings along the stretch. In a similar fashion, the regaging and electrification of the line from Upper Ferntree Gully to Belgrave also included the removal of the only level crossing along this stretch at the Burwood Highway. Rather unusually, when the line from Druin to Warrigal was duplicated in the mid-1950s, one level crossing was not duplicated, and instead the new track ran in a trench parallel to the existing level crossing, with the existing level crossing remaining. This arrangement still remains today, and I hope to visit someday. Between the 1970s and 2014, there are about 20 level crossings removed. Some of the older level crossing removals were at Canterbury and Box Hill, and some of the newer ones were at Mitcham and Springvale. In many cases, preferred options were to lower the rail line below the road, but a handful of other crossings were removed using other methods. But everything changed for level crossings in Melbourne in 2014. That year, as part of pledges by the Victorian Labor Party to try and win the state election, it was announced that if they won the election, they would remove 50 level crossings by 2022. These level crossings were spread all across Melbourne and were not necessarily in a logical order of priority, such as based off the Vic Road safety data. In many cases, level crossings removed did not necessarily in some cases, level crossings removed did not necessarily warrant removal over other level crossings. I remember a brief controversy over the Ill Race Road Caram level crossing removal. It was stated there were only 500 vehicles that used the crossing in the busiest hour of the morning peak, compared to more than 4,000 at the level crossing at Madden Grove Burnley, which wasn't and still isn't being removed. In many cases, controversy was brief, however. In the example I used before, it was simply chosen to close the Eel Race Road level crossing instead of actually building infrastructure in order to maintain the crossing as a grade separated one, with the Karen project simply involving one new crossing under an elevated railway. The first level crossing removed under this program was the Burke Road level crossing in Glen Iris, removed by lowering the rail line under the road and constructing a new garden station. This was followed by similar projects, the Furlong Main project in St Albans and the Ormond McKinnon Bentley project. Since then, 46 level crossings have been removed under the project in total, with the most recent being the Cherry Street Werribee project. 
the Level Crossing Removal Authority will hit 50 level crossings removed by the end of this year, with the Manchester Road Maroolbark, Main Street Lilydale, South Gippsland Highway Dandenong South, Ferguson Street Williamstown North, and all crossings between Edith Vale and Bond Beach scheduled to be removed this year. In 2018, it was also announced there were going to be 25 more level crossings removed by 2025 which will mean there'll be 75 level crossings removed in total, plus a handful more that were not originally intended to be removed, that were being removed, such as one in Cheltenham. Although the latest level crossing was removed on 11 March, three months ago and a bit more, the Level Crossing Removal Authority seems to talk about every little thing that happens on their website, which does mean that there is constantly things going on, or at least it looks that way. As for when this project will end, well, it looks as though the most likely ending to the project will be once there are no more level crossings in the suburban area. Linked in the description, hopefully, is a map that I made that showcases the remaining level crossings on the Melbourne network by group. Level crossings that are being removed are in a special colour, and they have details on when they're going to be removed. Level crossings that have been removed by the LXRA already are also in a special group, which is coloured green. I plan to continue updating this map as more things happen, including if more level crossings are announced for removal. So, level crossings have been a part of the Melbourne train network since 1854, but now it looks as though their days might be numbered. Level crossings disrupt communities and reduce capacity and reliability of train services. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll be seeing you in the next video.